In this video, I'm going to show you my easy to build and super functional 12 volt sink setup in my Sprinter van. Just two five gallon jugs and some small parts from Amazon is all that you need. Stay tuned. So this is the sink I have set up in my Sprinter van. It uses four black iron pipes for the legs and the tabletop is just a butcher block from Lowe's that I cut the hole out and dropped the sink in. Everything else I bought on Amazon. So we'll, we'll start with the fresh water tank. It is connected to a 12 volt battery pack. Super basic, but it works really well. Um, and on the other side, I used quick connectors that make it super easy to just connect and disconnect to the sink so you can easily you know slide it out refill it and slide it back and connect it with no problems um, so yeah I just pushed the button there and disconnected it so you can see it from the other side it's just a little plastic bulkhead that has a button on it that you can easily push and connect and disconnect it so when you open it up you see the bottom, I just use a hose clamp to secure the food grade tubing. And the tubing is connected to a submersible pump. This one is made in Germany. It's a little bit more expensive. They make ones that are made in China. I've bought those too and they both work the same. Um, so this one I think was 40 bucks. The Chinese ones are I think $10. I'll put links in the description below for both. And the other cord that you see is a waterproof housing that's around the wiring that goes to the 12 volt battery pack on the other side. The battery pack that I used is 3000 milliamps and the submersible pump is 1.2 amps at 12 volts. So you're gonna run through several tanks of water before you ever need to recharge the battery. And when you want to hook it back up, you slide it in and grab the male end quick connector and snap it into place. And on the front of the battery pack, there's an on off switch. So you just simply flip the switch and it turns on. And depending on the faucet that you choose to use, the tubing, uh, as you can see in the middle, I had to step it down to fit the faucet that I chose, but I had that faucet lying around so I didn't need to buy a new one. Uh, it's from an old reverse osmosis water system that I had. I like it as well because it regulates the amount of water that comes out. So you're gonna wanna use water wisely when you only have a five gallon tank. So that helps ensure that you don't waste any water. It drains into this extra jug that I had here sitting next to the fresh water tank and I used a Camco flexible drain hose to just uh, shove down a hole that I drilled out on the top of the jug. And just make sure you don't drill the hole too big. You want it to be nice and snug in there so it doesn't pop out when you're driving down the road. Uh, so again, links to all this stuff is in the description below. And thanks so much for watching.